Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about something called link aggregation groups and they are formally known as lags. So you will mostly hear them called as lags. So lags are basically nothing. They're just a logical collection of uh, multiple uh, links from your AWS Direct Connect location to your AWS. Uh, and they are basically using a protocol called link aggregation control protocol you don't need to go into the details of lacp so basically it's called lacp and what you can do using lacp is that you can aggregate or bundle up 1 gbps or 10 gbps links which you have and they'll be treated as a single connection so suppose this is your uh, say aws direct connect location right so we know what is a direct connect location and this is your aws cloud right and you have say four connections which are going from your this location this device to your aws so what uh, you can do using lscp is that you can bundle up these and they'll be treated as a single connection so now what you have is a single connection where you get the bandwidth of the combined links so suppose you have one gbps each link like one 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 so the combined bandwidth you'll get is for four gbps of this link and this also gives you a failover uh, uh, facility as well as load balancing so let's see what's that that <clears throat> so there are a few rules which apply to lag so let's just go over them so the first one is that all connections in a lag should have the same bandwidth same bandwidth right so this is the first condition so it can't be like that you have two connections of 1 gbps and two connections of 10 gbps and then you bundle them right you can't do that either it's all 10 gbps or all 1 gbps then the second one is that the maximum number of link you can have in a lag is four so you need to remember this that maximum number of links which you can have in a lag is four and the final condition is that on aws location direct connect location your link should come from same AWS direct connect device right so let me show you what I mean so you must be knowing that in an AWS direct connect location you have multiple devices right and you can either have your connection going from different devices or you can have it going from same device but for link aggregation group your connection should basically terminate on a single device it cannot be like this connection is terminating on here this is connect terminating here this is terminating here and you create a lag of these you cannot do that so all the connection must terminate on the same device and on the same AWS location yeah so same device same location so that's a prereq basically before you go and create your link aggregation group uh, there's one more thing let me just get rid of this okay let's just get rid of this and so there's a minimum basically there's an attribute when you create lag so there's an attribute which sets the minimum number of connection in the lag that must be operational for lag to itself be operational right so suppose you have four connections in a lag and you set the minimum say to be two right so if this connection goes down your lag is still operational if this connection goes down your lag is still operational but if this connection goes down your number of operational becomes one which is obviously less than two so now your lag will not be operational so you basically define the minimum number of connection that should be up for the lag to be operational and yeah so this is uh, it for this guy video guys this is a very small video 
a link aggregation group is actually a very small topic even if you go to aws documentation there is hardly a paragraph or two for link aggregation group so it's not pretty complicated and if you have i mean ever you have worked on i mean ever learned basically ccna or ccnp uh, or packet switching in itself you must be knowing what link aggregation group is it's it's nothing new concept it's basically coming from core networking and you don't need to go into the details of lscp it it doesn't feature in exam it's only basically the numbers which you should be remember your maximum number of connections you can have in a lag and the attribute which you set uh, for the lag to be operational so i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel uh, there's a subscribe button just click it and thank you for watching so let's just continue with our course thank you for watching guys